Hey, this is Next, and today we are going to be doing another Sim Occult video. Um, today we are going to be making a werewolf. I am super excited about that. You know, I love my occult uh, sims. So, you know, yay. But the sim that we starting off here is actually already a pretty, really pretty base sim that they kind of gave me here. So I really didn't have to do much to make her, you know, look the way I wanted her because she was already, she already started out as a nice base. But anyway, as I said, we're going to be making a werewolf today. And as I was trying to figure out what I wanted her to look like um, and find, you know, some CC for her. I saw that there were a couple of werewolf mods that's been, you know, floating around lately. So I saw that Spinning Plum Boss was coming out with their werewolf mod. Um, I think it's an early release right now. So if you would like to go to their page, I'll link that for you. If you would like, you know, just you know, see what their werewolf mods look like. And I'll, I'll link the trailer for you too. So you can see, you know, what it look, what it's looking like right now. I have not played it. So I couldn't tell you how the gameplay is. <laughs> Spinning Plum Bobs is the creator of that Fairy vs. Witches mod that you all kind of saw during my last Sim Occult video. So uh, they make really good mods. They have a couple other uh, mods. I think it's like uh, Immersive Mermaids and some other mods like to really kind of help with your occult sims. So definitely, you know, you can go check them out if you would like to. So it's probably like a really good werewolf mod. At least I hope it will be. Of course, you know, they'll kind of improve what they want to improve as they they spend more time on it and stuff so if you were excited about werewolves this is probably a good mod to check out um if you would like to and if you want to support them like i said it is an early release if you want to go and do that and then i also saw that somebody was trying to fix uh i think nix's old werewolf mod it's called the franken fix <laughs> on uh, my The Sims. I think they were having a little bit of difficulty with trying to fix that. So I don't know how well, you know, the gameplay is for it, but you can check it out if you would like to. Again, I don't know because I have not played it, so I couldn't tell you as far as how good it may be, but it's a nice free alternative to the uh, Spin and Plum Bob one until that one is for free. If you would like to check out, you know, Werewolf Mod. So, you know, you got a couple of you know alternatives for now and i don't think max is going to come out with werewolves anytime soon for the sims and based on their track history anyway even if they did it probably wouldn't be the best in all honesty <laughs> look even if they did it probably wouldn't be the best so you know i appreciate our modders who uh take the time to make these really great and fleshed out gameplay options for the sims i really do but like i said you can check out their mods I'll link them below in the description, but let's get back to our sim here. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said earlier, she's a really pretty good base sim. So I didn't really have to do much to like make her look pretty because she was already super pretty. <gasps> I was just trying to figure out what can I do to make her look like a wolf. And I, I don't know what happened to my body hair because I couldn't find any of it. And I don't know if it's because it's a female sim that the body hair option don't pop up for her or if i just accidentally deleted it because i've been messing around with my uh cc recently <laughs> anyway i gave her a vampire form because i thought it was appropriate to kind of have her go back between vampire i mean sorry have her go back between wolf and human form you know and make it more seamless i guess and then I am not sure if you can have a vampire form for either of those mods. I was just looking into the fix of Nyx's mod. I don't see anything saying that you can't be a vampire. But again, I don't know. You probably shouldn't be because, you know, where was I supposed to be against vampires or whatever. But that was the easiest way I thought of fixing it for that because, well, vampires attack Sims. So in werewolves, you know, probably will attack Sims. So you know that that just fit to me as far as not having a real werewolf in the game but we are getting to the end of the video to celebrate 25 subscribers you can get her right now for free in the description i have the link and then at the end there'll be some pictures of what she looked like and her transformation between human and wolf so please stay for that but thank you all again for taking the time to watch this video and i hope you all are doing well until next time bye